This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greens and salutations, uh, my local viewers. Valdemar here, watching another episode of Detective Conan. Oh, wait, I mean, I mean, uh, you know, Sherlock Holmes. I wouldn't dare even watch Detective Conan. Actually, I only watched a couple episodes when they were shown on, I think it was Cartoon Network actually showed it for a bit. Or, or was it the WB that showed it? Anyway, years ago, it was shown on, it was shown in, you know, an American, uh, thing, and then they just stopped showing it. It's a long series, let me tell you. A funny character. He looks anxious. And Let's... he is not an Englishman. <laughs> Why does that remind me of an episode of Helsing? It's like, you know, it was like, you're, you're a van... <laughs> You're, it doesn't matter if you're a vampire, you're still English, so have some bloody <laughs> bloody class, or whatever it was. Something like that. That's a, that's a funny enemy. Whoa, I thought there was a dude there. It's about to freak me out, man. You are freaking out, man. Newspaper articles on horse racing. Hurdles, steeplechase, and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. So whoever the uh, uh, owner of these... Ooh, hello. Tickets. Betting slips for horse racing. Hmm. Oh, there's more. Let's check the back. Ta da! The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. Sucks for you, sir. That's what gambling gets you. That's why I don't gamble. I don't like taking the risk. I hate it. I hate basically, it's basically like you going up to a sewer drain and going, I'm going to bet on that. That was ten bucks, alright, and you drop it down the sewer drain. Never to be seen again. I hate that. I hate wasting money, really, <laughs> if I can help it. That's how, that's how, you know, uh, well, what's the term? Not a, oh, okay, no, oh, there's that guy's smoke. Let's check it, shall we? It's not a curmudgeon. What's the term when you're when you're like thrifty? Thrifty to almost to the point of stingy. Hmm. This scent is familiar to me, but in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture. For a man who, it's familiar to you because you smoke opium and other such things. Okay, so it looks like. Okay, so. One second, I only move it back and forth. Looks like it's Spanish in nature. Uh, let's see. So I'm trying to basically I'm trying to make a sombrero. Let's see if I can do it the other way. Well, aha. Uh -huh. This. this go? Oh, ho, there we go. It's part of the part of the sombrero. There we go. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo, you already know the name of this man. Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turrent. A Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. Wish I was a master of the cigarian arts. Ooh. Holmes Vision. Activate! Now, what are we looking for? Oh, ho. Ashtray. Let's see what's this inside. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs 
are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveler or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Hmm. I wonder if that's one of the Chilean representatives or something. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. Okay, probably the man's actually Mexican. Hmm. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Anything? Oh, I guess that's it. All right. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else is in here before we leave. Because the man got up and walked away. I'm surprised we just didn't follow after him to talk to him. But, yeah. We didn't want to freak him out, you know. Didn't want to go a little freaky deaky. Quite. Quite. I learned the other day that quite is not does not have the same inflection as it does in uh, for for English for Americans as it does for what the f well <laughs> I was bound to run across a glitch at some point in this game am I right fellas <laughs> and well poor ah he's not on the floor anymore well if that's really the only minor glitch over of the here. game I'm pretty impressed there's a flooded area over here hmm I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. Okay, we'll check it out. Okay, that's the same room as before. Let's see if we go through here. Oh, right, derp. Hey, there's uh, one of the station masters. We'll talk to him. Here in a second. Let's see if any. Hello. We'll probably not. This guy's probably got a. I assume is a gambling addiction. belongs to the station master. Let's see if there's any more to incur that perhaps he owes money. Maybe that's why he's working with these people. Who knows? That might be it. His lawyer, huh? Oh, sorry. Cornwall Advocate Agency. Uh, Bromley, uh, in reply to your last warning letter, I must assure you that I shall honor all of the latest installments I need to pay according to my debt. So that's the name of the guy, I guess, Edward Duff. This is a letter to his wife. Let's see what that says. Yep, yeah, we're just stealing people's personal the information. It appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. Um, my darling, I ask you to trust me this time. I shall have more than enough money to pay, repay the house mortgage. It's only a matter of days. You may continue living in the house with me since that is your wish. Please know that I still care about you and hope that you'll forgive me one day despite all the harm I've caused in recent years. Ugh, that's an issue with his wife, huh? Probably over his gambling debts and stuff like that. If reasonably, maybe he he was uh, told to turn Real a blind eye bags. to get paid for this train thing, but who knows? That's one. That is one uh, suggested a uh, offense, good sir. Hmm. There's the a flag that says "Don't go here." Should am I missing something? How about a imagination? Imagination, imagination. Huh. It said to check it out, but there's there's nothing to click on. Let me see how far I can go before the game kicks me to the another section. Okay. Whoop. Sorry, I had a, the weather's just been giving me something up my up my nose recently. It's hard to breathe. It's hard to I can't breathe. Reminds me of that episode of the Beetlejuice era where I had the mask of the Red Death make an appearance. That was a weird episode, let me tell you. That's just the that's just the mail room. Oh no, it isn't. Hello. No clues in here. It seems like I've noticed. I tend not to look up. I tend to look down. Of course, most games have your stuff. Okay, so there's something there. Let's make sure there's nothing else to check. Okay. I want some teapot. Would you like some tea? No. Uh. Well, Watson is no longer living anymore. That was that room. Okay, let's talk to the conductor here. Or the master, I mean. You look like a dapper and sober fellow. That's it, I'm calling the cops. Good day to oh, you, go sir. Ahead, call the cops. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. 
We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. Duff beer for me, duff beer for you. I'll have a duff, you have one too. He's mad, he's very sad, he needs a duff beer. For anyone who watches Simpsons. Oh yeah, duff man says. <laughs> Drink a beer. He's missing buttons, he probably had to sell it. And, oh, no ring. He's one of the few non... He did have a ring, but he and his uh, wife are, temp are, I assume, uh, separated at the moment. Since it's Britain, they have the... Uh, the Church of England allows uh, for a uh, divorce. So I don't know if they're ap divorced yet or if they're if they're working on that. So, anyway. It appears that you may be at Here's risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so, but it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham, but I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper, I can't really complain. Wait, is the train, like, inside the quarry or inside, what is the lake or something like that? They, like, shipped to the water so they could hide the train or something? Probably. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. Hmm. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction, but it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? Oh, we know what you're addicted to. Smoking the reefer. I mean, horse racing. <laughs> we found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master. It is none of your business. I... Occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. It's only private until it starts messing with everyone else around you. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Oh yeah, that guy did kind of just disappear. Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Okay. Does that mean there's a new area to... Aha! Alright, let's uh, put together some clues and see if we can find the... Received money, yeah. See, actually, I keep forgetting to actually read what these descriptions actually say. See money recently? Yeah, so... Like I said, he's probably tied into it, whether he actually did it or if it was just a turn the other way type of thing. Uh, train never passed through. The station master lied and sent a false report. Perhaps he was bribed. That's what I'm thinking. But I could be wrong. But I, I think he was paid to just look the other way. Basically. But Alright, since I think we've found all we can right now. We'll probably have to come back and talk to this guy later because that, that just... Mexican dude disappeared, so. He's one of my people. I'm actually a quarter, I'm actually a quarter Hispanic. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't know that. Me being a white boy. Hey, you know, just because I'm white doesn't mean I can't have uh, ancestors from uh, from other, or yeah, actually it was my grandfather who was 100% Hispanic, so. Okay, not Mexican, but Hispanic, which, which I think he was born in Mexico. Yeah, he's, he's Hispanic from a Mexican standpoint. And funny enough, my grandma was 100% Irish. Weird combination, huh? But hey, it happens, Here right? I've seen some stranger combos. It is located near the quarry and Doncaster Station. It doesn't look like a very good place to rest. Hmm. Not, yeah, that's true. Let's see, and he's just... 
This will probably take me out, yeah. Oh, ah, no, ah, oh, glitchy. No, that's not glitchy, it's just surprising. Oh, hello. These traces were made by a carriage. Look. Hmm. The vehicle Ooh. pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. Kind of makes you wonder how heavy. <laughs> the vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. We'll take measurements here in a second. Well, I haven't had to take measurements since... Did the last game have measurements? Yeah, I think it did. Sorry, it's been a while since I played the original version. Okay, so what am I am I measuring the length? Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting Oops. here. Maybe trying to Nothing interesting here. Maybe this one? Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. It keeps it keeps putting me like hmm. Can I do length though? Can Nothing I... interesting here. Let's try lengthwise, see if that does it. Nothing interesting here. Yeah. How about how about the uh, up, ah Not Nothing interesting hmm. here. What am I? What am I trying to? I thought I was trying to measure maybe the, the distance between the okay, tracks there is about six feet seven inches. That, that's what I thought I was trying to measure. But, hmm. fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. Interesting. I wonder what type of materials. Yeah, the problem with this game is that sometimes it doesn't make it like. Not that I'm not sure what I'm looking for, but like. Like maybe it might be just so picky, like what's requiring for me. So sometimes when I think I'm I'm doing it right, I'm like, no, I guess I'm not. Okay, so there's the beach front. Let's see if anything's over here. Nothing this way. Guess we'll just go straight to the beach then. Son of a beach. Hello, what's this? Okay, it won't let me. I'll go around the hard way then. I'll search you here in a second. Thank you, Watson, for joining me. An abandoned gypsy caravan. Apparently, gypsy is actually uh, what's what's the term? It's actually at least for for gypsy, or I guess I shouldn't call them gypsies for Romanovies or or wandering wandering peoples. Like a gypsy, apparently, is a uh, a racist term to resort to them. At least that's what I've heard, anyway. This place was abandoned fairly recently. It's like calling someone the N-word or, or you know, whatever. I'm not gonna start saying what all the racist terms are, but yeah, I, I guess I, I just, I, you know, I, I, I know what gypsies are, but observing you know, gotta, the coastline. Don't want to be that boats, guy, so I won't mention we are it anymore. Able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. Maybe to hide the train or something? But yeah, I won't be saying the uh, G word anymore. Just in case of any any Romanov uh, uh, wonders uh, are watching my videos. <laughs> if you didn't notice, I was scowling there for a second. Or just like making one of those weird faces. We are like, yeah, right. But still, doesn't give me the right to do that. I'm just trying to be okay for everyone. PC Central. A label with the name Las Zarpas. Hmm. That ties it more to the Mexican or Chilean. I think in Chile they speak Portuguese, isn't it? Well, uh, well uh, in Mexico they speak Spanish. Well, Spanish amongst variations of it. It's not true. It's Well, I can't call it true Spanish. They don't, it's a variation on Spanish because of, you know, like, because of the area, you know. It's like, if you spoke Mexican Spanish, and if you, then you talked Spanish Spanish, like original Spanish, there, there's actually a lot of minor differences between the two. So, just a, a little 
a little uh, language lesson for you folks. Hmm. There we go. There we are. Hello, hello. Advertisement for Lake Cruises. Okay, that w that needed a specific scene for me to uh, look at it over there, buddy. Oh, he's falling asleep. He's bored of me. <laughs> Let's check something here. Let's check this lapel. Okay, so found at the lake. Um, this is probably Spanish or 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 uh, Mexican in nature. So, uh, Zarpus, huh? Aha. Plus, Zarpa's barges are leaders in heavy goods and transportation. The, the Las Zarpa's label belongs to the Mexican Sorcord Sordum Carousel, who covers shipping, electrical, service, and mining. Is. Hmm. So we've discovered that. What do I need to... It's the quarry. So there's one more per it looks like the last person to check is that uh, that Mexican fella. Hmm. Alright, what tools do we got now? Uh special transport. Yeah. Barges. The Mexicans had recently utilized barges at the lake probably to transport something heavy. Okay. This suitcase contains my archives. We can consult with it if needed. It is fortunate that we took it with us. I wonder if there's any other random... I think I've explored all I can here, I think. Maybe I should go talk to the um, Harbor Master. Or not har Harbor Master, what am I talking about? Maybe I should speak to that one dude again in the last area I was at. Because I, I don't see anything else around here. We... Is the quarry an available spot to go to now? Oops, come on. Oh, it wouldn't let me go, just take the long way around. Okay. Um. Huh. I can't actually get to the quarry, it seems like. I must be missing something now. This might be the part of the game where I've actually started to slow down now. Alright. Well. Whoops. Knocked something over off of my counter. Oops. Okay, let's do it. Let us check another location. Let's see. Let's go check with yeah, let's go check with the railway master again, see if maybe the Mexican guys make it a made a reappearance. Did I knock over anyway? Did I knock my Furby off? Probably did. I actually have a Furby from a from Star Trek they sent me in the random loot box months ago. It's pretty funny actually. Yeah, it looks like this this uh case doesn't have anything to do with the Merry Men. It might have to do with like the case a new case when we get get back or something like that. Right, let's see if see if that Mexican dude made a reappearance. Nope. Because right, sure. still the game's still asking me to check some of the uh switches in there, so maybe I should go back to Chesterfield, see if there's anything there. But I wanted to. I wanted to see if there's any. You'll find nothing interesting here. Okay. Okay. So nothing there. Let's try Chesterfield again. See if we see anything there. Because it said it wanted us to check the switches. But when I went to that one switch, there wasn't really anything in there. Hopefully, I didn't miss that like one small thing. And uh, I may have it. That I may have to take a double check there later on. I may. In the episode soon, when I'm getting to that slow point, I don't want people to just watch me like running around forever with a chicken with my head cut off, you know. Um. Ah, oh, will I ever get any peace? Oh, that's right. This is the place with the drunk dude. That's the one place where we also get out of my way, Watson. God damn it, Watson. Do I really have to... <laughs> Fine, I'll just I'll just teleport away. Yeah, see how you like it. 
You don't like it, do you? Alright, um, uh, in the side of the railway branch that begins the railway switch. Oh, maybe I should go back there just to see if I... He's reading Crime and Punishment, that's funny. Well, I don't know, funny from like a weird metaphysical sense, maybe? I don't know. I'm always wondering what's on your mind. I wonder if there's any news. I will not move from here. And okay. So you it's don't a scandal. Know. And I don't want to talk to you again. Don't touch anything, please. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I'm in a, a bit of a uh, a situation where I may be back into the confused part of the game where I'm like, I'm not sure what's going on. I'll double check this one and then I'll end the uh, I think I'll end the episode there. I don't want this to last for like 50 minutes, you know, and it means just me going, oh, oh dear, oh dear. Because the only thing we found here last time was the rail switch. And then when I checked around... I, I'm assuming I missed something when I was looking around before. Right, stop it. Stop it. Stop it! No! Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm... This suitcase contains my archives. We can consult with it if needed. It is fortunate that we took it with us. This road should go in the same direction as the railway. This one is? Okay. I guess we go in that way. Hmm. I feel like there should be should be something else here than just that ra random railway switch. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm missing like something. But usually the game tells me if I need to if I need to search with the uh, my uh, Sherlock vision. You know? Hmm. Maybe I should go back to the beach at some point. Well, maybe I just need to take a nap or something like that. Get my head clear. So in the so, in the next episode of Crimes and Punishment Feeling Sherlock Holmes, we'll keep exploring, see what the Mexicans have to do with the... Hello? Mines. This is interesting. Okay. Well, hold on, let me do this real quick, and then I'll... I'll pick the episode. That's why... See? I, I, I was mentioning last episode that I never look up. It well, there you go. It's possible for someone to redirect the train towards the mines. Okay, well, and then uh, we now have another destination. So, anyway, in the next episode of Crimes and Punishment, featuring Sherlock Holmes, we shall examine the mines and see what interesting uh, things have trailed in there, as it were. <laughs> see you all then, and thanks for watching.